So please, let's prepare questions. Uh, we will we'll have just 10 minutes for that because of our time, so we can go back. So I would want to have, let's see, if you have questions, let's raise our hands very quickly. No environmental questions, number one, number two, number three, sir. I can't see the end. You want to ask a question, sir? Okay, number four. So number one, number two, number three, number four. Thank you very much. I would like to sincerely thank the organizer of this event, my sweet and dignified Honorable Elijah Williams, for packaging this wonderful program. Um, my first question is to the DG of the Massa, ably represented by Mrs. Odu Sanya. You did mention that the DG is passionate about blue economy, Mr. Blue Economy. I come from jobs, Plateau State, where there is no water. They got from Plateau State. There's no water. All we have are rocks and hills. What is the Massa doing to include the children that come from those areas? that do not have water in the blue economy. I first want to Mrs. Shalika, as a business-minded person also. Please, um, you didn't mention the average cost to start. I'm not a teacher, I'm also a public servant. Being a processor or as a marketer, I think that is still simple for a teacher or someone like me to venture in. As a food processor or as a marketer, I want to take from you to resell. Thank you very much. Thanks to Chief Tazan. So I want to believe that um, what accidents that we encounter most times are caused by human beings. And I want to ask that, is there any agency or anything put in place to clean the water, maybe to take all the things that could cause what acts dead on the road, just like we have on the road, or what are things? Is there any agency in place to do that in cleaning the water, especially the ones um, used for movement of boats and things? That's Thank you. Uh, I'm a retiree. I started from, started from government to private, from private to government. But 61 years now, I started with school staff, and today I'm the master holder. I work for 21 years in the space of combining public and private sector. We have identified all areas why Mr. Bastard does not to have this various companies. When I worked last, I went over 200 staff. All of them got to the through a letter to us, to their constituents. You can't start working. They tell most of them say they don't know why they're here. And how can you expect on a community for such a place? The skill is not, there's no merit. No merit again in this problem. It's a problem. Number one, number two. Will the economy to become a better place? The first question was not there. Uh, yeah. yeah. Only it's not. It's a comment. Yeah, it's a comment, yeah. The second one, will it come out here? Not of course, we don't know. We have about 200 million Nigerians, and there's a good, about 50 people who are spending their money there. I don't know what about blue economy. It's a wrong and some stuff. Blue economy is an extension of the maritime industry activities. What they are saying is that if you remove B from the water of the ocean, you add it in so that it can be sustainable for the younger one to do. But another seventh economy of the sector or a seventh center of the economy, if you look at that, it's a shame. Save it. You can't be. Falling the water pot here, and you want to spend billions high sea. You know that I say there's no place to get out of the water. There's no place to live in the water. So if they are living, let them in the blue economy. They know area they can go in, and we should start from that to know that that thing has to be to replenish the resources we are taking for the matter. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. What she is thinking. How would you put in an area maybe to see water? And think of being able to do that. So I'm thinking, is it possible to have canals 
the social areas. Yes, I mean that house there, I think it's just something that I can look into. Maybe they can not be like this, it's something. I mean that house there, I can make something. So what do you think of the house? What are I saying to Marine Jeffries? In a few parts, regarding Marine Jeffries, at the court level, Nigerian Port Authority is actually in charge of preparing the waste from our waterways. The inland waterway is responsible for the marine litters in common inland waterways. While Nigerian Rights and Administration and Safety Agents is actually in charge of clearing marine water ices, marine litters, and debris. And we are actually doing that. We are actually involved in the removal of rain. The agency is the authority, the designated authority to remove breaks on our waterways, and we are already doing that all over the coastal uh, states of the Federation. We're doing that. We're removing it. It's an ongoing process. If you remove one today, the other breaks will come up, and so it's an ongoing exercise that must be done. And there has to be collaboration between NPA, NEMASA, and NIWA to clear to have clean oceans and environment. That's in response to you. Madam from Joss, <laughs> Blue Economy is an all-inclusive maritime activity. It has the sustainable aspect which involves aquaculture, fishery, and it's also from the paper that I gave, I said green fins. And the special guest for God also asked me, what's green fins? It's about protecting and conserving our natural resources, our ocean, to ensure that it's sustainable. Then, if you are not a water person, you can be involved in the academia. You can be involved in the engineering aspects. You can be involved in constructing goals for those that are in the coastal areas or the blue economy. You can be involved in so many aspects of the blue economy, though you are not from the coastal uh, states of the Federation. I hope I've answered your question. Okay. She's scared that she's not water. What I want to tell you is that like, when you get to a boat jetty or anywhere you go to uh, enter a boat, ask the boat captain or the boat operator, and I have a night chapter. I want to tell you my experience with passengers. When they get to the dirty and you give them life jacket to wear, they'll just put it just like my jeans are, like this thing. But that's not, it doesn't stop there. You need to walk with the life jackets. You have to walk with it. If you don't walk with it, it's as good as you are not wearing a life jacket. So if you fall into the water, that life jacket doesn't want to go into the water. It's a floater. It's supposed to be floating. So for that reason, it will go out of the body and then the floating will be on your own while the life jacket will be floating on the water. But that can be any water brought set to me now. So any time you get to a boat, insist in taking the life jacket and obey the rule, I mean, the, the captain, because at that particular time, he's in charge. Not God knows our life, but the man driving the boat at that time is your commander. You need to please obey him. I go through this nearly every day. Then second, I hope you, you are okay with that. Don't be scared. Like I said, the, the boat, water is very safe if you, if, you, if you obey the rules and the conditions of the waterways. And uh, NPA. And last one, Lagos State Waterways Authority. Yes, there used to be this group, which I think I always tell them all these parts that are supposed to come together and have a, 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 from, a, a kind of decision that, okay. This is where we are going. Not that I license my boat with the master. I have to go to NPA to license. I have to go to Newa. I have to go to Lasswa. It becomes so cumbersome. It becomes that I have given them this many times when we have a meeting that look, go to the road. When you buy a car, you go to the licensing office. You license your car and you can drive anywhere in Nigeria. So those are the areas. You see, like Madame said, the master has been doing wrecks on the waterways. You see, that something I've got again. If you don't know a terrain for now, signage where there are wrecks, which we have in Kambas, Mr. Farm Jericho will be a witness. We have that there are supposed to be a signage there where there is a wreck under the water. Because you can't see, we have to tie, two tie, low tie, and high tie. If you are conversant in the area, when you are going, you see it. If you are not, 
you don't see it when the water is high. It's only when the water is low. You can imagine you just pass the place today, on your way coming back, you never knew there's something there, and you roll your boat on top of that, it cracks the boat, water starts coming in. Nigerians are so scared of water. If water just a splash, you just see them moving to one side, which is dangerous. You bath in your house, you have bath, you wash clothes, you use water. Why it does a splash of water in your body and everybody now start moving to one side of the boat? Once you move to a side of the boat, it tilts the boat and it can what? and capsize. Once you capsize, once you capsize, even if you can swim, unfortunately when we have cover boat, the cover boats to me are like coffee. Because you are going to be trapped. You won't be able to do what? To go out of the boat. So I refuse to use cover boat for commercial purposes. Every day, I move more than 500 passengers between Ijede and Badore. But what's on top of the ministry or some of the government officials? Ah, that man is making so much money. And they don't look at it, they don't know what you go, what you put into it. Like I said, and someone said, Madam said, passion. I'm telling you, to me, my shoe is Salvatore Ferragamo. The one I'm wearing. My jeans is Versace, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't stop there. What can you give to your country? Not what your country can give to you. It is what you give to your country. From there, you will get. So safety on our waterways, the master has a lot of work to do. Last one has a lot of work to do. Diwa and FPA. Not only revenue generation. I will give you another point. I won't mention the name of the ministry. I'm sorry. I just need to please. Okay? If um, I am one of the ministry, I'm charging 500 naira for a license. And she is another ministry, charging 1,000. She is another ministry charging 300. Who pays? Sorry? Who pays for it? The, the passengers pay. If I must register from all those uh, agencies, when I buy a boat or when my boat starts moving, where I start charging, I'll be charging 2,000. Then you make that difficult for people and you give the government a bad image. Everything that happens in our country, government, government, oh, me and you are government. It depends on what you give. So in terms of who is in charge of waterways for today, as I know, is about four of them. Nimasa, NBA, Niwa, and Lanswa. Thank you. Yes, in, in the level. Uh, I will equally throw that back again to the teachers. How many of the schools are taking French seriously? Because in Africa, it's only we and Ghana that speak English. The rest around us, most of them are from Liberia and Senegal. Most of them are from Bufo. They are even higher than those of us that are Anglo. So, but for this bean flower is within, it's not for export. This one is for consumption within the local consumption here. But for export, yes, if you're trading with from the home country, you get a French person to translate because if not, they won't buy, they won't know what you want to display. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Before we go to French, some products in Nigeria just have English and that's it. But the owner, I remember uh, coming for a program with NEPC. We were told to label in the three Nigerian languages. You label English, Yoruba, and Hausa. Some took it up. Some of us do that because if you have to export your product, it has to come in two languages minimum. It's either English or French. And thank God in Africa now, Swahili has been, it's now an accepted language for communication. So I think it's something that needs to be looked into. We don't have, it doesn't have to be another borrowed language. Let's start from Nigeria with our three major languages. Okay, back to my, the question. He said the average cost for starting a fish business. I purposely omitted that. Why? Because when I started my business, I started with Zero Meyer. It was collaboration. I have a, a neighbor that has red fish that was ready to be sold, but she wasn't getting anybody to buy it from her. So what did I do? I spoke to her, if you don't mind, let me collect this fish, smoke it, sell it, give me two weeks, I'll pay you. And that was how it started. That was my first encounter after I built my own and all that. And just like I said, you are the one to stop yourself. There's something I did with some of my staff at some point when I wanted marketers. It was on commission. If you take 10 parts, you get a particular commission on it. Because I know if I tell them, buy the 10 parts, how much do you have to buy the 10 parts? So it depends on what you want. 
research on it. How doable is it? Who can I speak to? What can I do? And before you know it, but I of the time, we put the fear in front of whatever it is we're trying to achieve, and then we are just stuck in one place. What if I had said, I don't have money, I'm so sorry, I don't have money to buy the fish test, but I had the expertise, so I had to trade with what I have, which is my expertise. It was, it was, because at, at first I thought, why don't you say so? But I still took my chances. It's all about the risk. So that's just it. If you want to start, you can't go and say, ah, okay, I have 100,000. I tell you the truth, no amount is enough to start a business. If you have to invest in equipment, that's something you need to do. You invest in raw materials, so it you start in your own capacity. You can say I have 5,000 naira to start. I will give you goods. I think that's what the likes of the Oriflame and all of that, that's their business um, model whereby you come and buy to what you have, to the amounts that you have. Once you make the money, you trade back into it. Like that, like that, you get to go. So don't let the amount be the first thing you're looking at. Because you fall out, you'll be costing half. Can I afford, I want to buy that money, I want to buy this. So there are funds you can even be for rent. Yeah. There's so much to it. So don't let the cost be the first thing. And that's why I purposely took it out of my, um, my slides. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please, a round of applause. I won't believe we've exhausted all our questions. But we don't question too much of our time with you. Thank you very much. From Charlie to the Jane, the Tour of Business. Also, to join the honorary here at the front for the bottom of the game, I would like to invite the amazing singers, members of life. You just need a touch of life today. If you wanna make a change, yeah You need to rise on your feet and take a step today Oh, the belief is sucks is more about the difference We're making people's life Touching lives, touching lives Putting smiles to people's faces Reaching out